بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربش رحلی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل القتم السانی یفق قولی اللہ ارین الحق حق و ارزقن طباع و ارین الباطل باطل و ارزقن اجتناب اللہ صلی علیہ سیدنا محمد و علیہ آلہ و صحابہ و اہل بیت اجمعین اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی سیز ان قرآن دا ہولی بک دیٹ واز سینٹ اپون دا فائنل مسنجر آف اللہ محمد پیس بی اپون ہم دا فائنل مسنجر آف Allah after the previous messengers like Jesus alayhi salam Isa alayhi salam as we say in Arabic and Moses Musa alayhi salam as we say in Arabic Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was the final one after all the previous messengers and and the narration says more or less 124,000 prophets and messengers were sent upon to the mankind since the beginning of mankind since the first ever person the father father of all mankind adam as we say adam alayhi salam in arabic he was the first messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the final one was muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran that's the final book from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the final revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after the previous ones and the previous ones were the Bible that was sent upon to Jesus Isa alayhi salam and Torah that was sent upon to Uh, Moses, Musa alayhi salam and other ones uh, that we already know of. So Allah says something to the Christians. The Christians as we know they believe in Trinity. They have changed Bible to their own taste. There are different versions of Bible that are available which are not actually Bible. They call altered, changed revelation the Bible. When in reality, the book that Allah had sent upon to Isa alayhi salam, Jesus alayhi salam was called Bible. The changed version that is currently being followed by the Christians is not the Bible because it is not the word of Allah in its exact form it has been changed. Unlike the previous ones Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given a guarantee with Quran the final revelation. that Allah has sent upon this final revelation and Allah has taken the responsibility to guard it and the f- and 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 Allah explains this rule in Quran that inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun Allah says we are the one who sent this revelation to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa inna lahu lahafizun and we are ourselves Allah says I am myself the guard of it so Quran cannot be changed 
any copy of Quran that you take from anywhere in the world, there would be no difference at all. No difference at all. No difference at all. If there is a minor change in a copy, that would be considered a mistake. That will not be considered the word of Allah that will not be called Quran and I'm not talking about just the copies that are currently available that are currently being published you can take any copy of Quran from 1500 1400 years ago to date any historic copy any copy that is published today any copy that is published online, any copy that is available in any of the libraries, in anyone's personal library, in anyone's personal closet, anywhere in the world, any copy of Quran would have no difference with all other copies at all. So Quran is the final revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is the most authentic one. So in this Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the Christians. There is a message for the Christians. The message from the God. And that is, what is that is, uh, it is the chapter number 5 of Quran, Surat Al-Ma'idah. Chapter number 5 of Quran and verse number, ayah number 116. Allah says, Allah, Allah never refers to Isa, Jesus as, as his son, and nor Allah refers to Isa alayhi salam, Jesus alayhi salam, with his father's name because there was no father. Isa alayhi salam was Ruhullah. He was Allah's order. He was, he was a miracle that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did just like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam Adam salam, without a father, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Jesus, Isa salam, without a father. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to Isa salam, with his mother's name. So Allah says in Quran, there will be a time referring to the day of judgment. What is قال الله يا عيسى ابن مريم? There will be a day, meaning the day of judgment. When Allah will say, Ya Isa ibn Maryam, O Jesus, O Isa, son of Mary, Maryam alayhi salam. Mary is called Maryam alayhi salam in Arabic. So when Allah, Allah is sending a message through Quran to the Christians, that O Christians, listen to this message. There will be a day when Allah will say, Ya Isa ibn Maryam, O Isa, O Jesus, son of Mary, son of Maryam, alayhi salam, peace be upon them. A anta kulta linna sitta khiduni wa ummi ilahaini min dunillah. This is very important for the Christians around the world who believe in Trinity. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I will ask on the day of judgment that O Isa, son of Mary, a kulta linnas, was it you who told people? A kulta linnas, was it you who told people? Told what? Attakhiduni wa ummiya ilahain that make that make me and my mother your gods now billah allah will ask 
Isa alayhi salam, listen again. Allah is telling himself in Quran that there will be a day when I will ask Isa, Jesus, son of Mary, was it you who told people to make yourself and your mother their gods? What will Isa reply? What will Jesus reply? The one the Christians believe as the son of God, Na'uzubillah. The one they make prayers to. The one, Na'uzubillah, they think they trust in. The one they think would forgive them, Na'uzubillah. The one they think accepts their prayer, Na'uzubillah. He himself would reply on the day of judgment to the real God, to Allah Almighty. He would reply what? Allah has forementioned this in Quran. Qala subhanaka ma yakunu li an aqula ma laysa li bihaq. He would say, Subhanak, O oh Allah, you are pure. O oh Allah, Subhanak, you are pure of all impurities. Subhanak, you are pure of all gods being associated to you. Ma yakunu li, it was not me. An aqul, ma laysa li bihaq. It was not right for me to say this. Listen again. This is something hidden, a hidden gem in Quran that Christians are missing. Christians do want to worship God. Do want to make prayers to God. Do want the God to listen to their prayers. Do want the God to solve their problems. Do want the God to give them victory. Do want the God to fix every problem they have. But they are misguided. They are being misled by their religious scholars, by their leaders, by their politicians, by the ones whom, who do business over this incorrect belief of Trinity who have their vested interest, interest in because of this falsehood. This is the real God's message to the Christians. That the real God, Allah, would ask their so-called God, the one who think is their God, the one who think is the son of the real God, Nauzubillah. The real God would ask that person that is in reality a creature that is in reality a servant of the real God servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he would ask that person that servant why is call Allah ya Isa ibn Maryam a anta qulta lin nas ittakhiduni wa ummiya ilahaini min dunillah Allah would ask on the day of judgment, O oh Jesus, son of Mary, was it you who told people to make yourself and your mother their gods? And Jesus would reply, Qala subhanaka ma yakunu li. He would reply, he would, he would deny this. He would simply reply to his Lord, his God, and the God of all of the humans and every creature, Qala Subhanak, he would say, you are pure of all impurities, you are pure of all the gods being associated to you. Ma yakunu li an aqul. It wasn't me who said this. Ma laysa li bihaq. I was no one to say that. I had no right to say that. In kuntu kultuhu faqad alimta. If it had been me who had said such a thing, O oh Allah, you would have known that. 
Allah, you know everything I have in me, in my heart, in my brain, in my in my in my deeds, you know everything. But I don't know the things you hide from me. And I don't know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has kept with himself. You are the one who, know, who knows all of the unseen. This is what Jesus Isa salam would say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he would continue in saying ma qultu lahum illa ma amartani bih I have never told people anything except what you ordered me to tell them and I have never told them that an I have never told them to worship me or my mother. Rather, I told them what? Ani'budullah. I told them to worship Allah. To worship the real God. To worship the real Lord that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he, explain, he would explain what he told the people to do. He would explain that over there again that Ani'budullah, I told people to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rabbi wa Rabbakum, who is the Lord, who is the provider of myself, Isa would say, and Rabbukum, and he is a provider and the God and the Lord of everyone else as well. Wa kuntu alayhim shaheedam ma dumtu fihim. And and he he would also say say that wa kuntu alayhim shahida and i was witness to them ma dumtu fihim to my last breath within them i was witness to them that I am inviting them to one God and any follower of Isa alayhi salam, any follower of Jesus alayhi salam, who was a true follower in his presence would never dare to call him son of God and Jesus alayhi salam would, would give witness to that day that I was witness to them that none of them would call me the son of God. فَلَمَّا تَوَفَّيْتَنِي كُنْتَ أَنْتَ أَنْتَ الرَّقِيبَ عَلَيْهِمْ But when you took me to the sky, when he was raised to the sky, you were witness over them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been overlooking them since then till the day of judgment. Allah is the witness, he will be the witness that they, they created this mischief from their own and Satan guided them to this mischief. It was not Jesus Isa alayhi salam who told them to worship himself or his mother na'uzu billah. Wa anta ala kulli shay'in shaheed. And O oh Allah, you are the witness to everything and everyone. This is what would happen to the Christians on the day of judgment. The one they think is the God would himself distance himself from them and would himself witness against them. And they would be in a lot of trouble. And he would, he would, Jesus السلام, would simply distance himself from them saying one more thing. In to Azibhum fa in Ibaduk Wallah all of them who had been calling me and my mother their gods, they are your servants, O Allah. In to Azibhum, it is upon you to give them the torment, it is upon you 
to give them the punishment. Wa in taghfir lahum fa inna ka antal azizul hakim. And they are their, they are your servants. It is upon you if you want to forgive them or not. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says. إن الله لا يغفر أن يشرك به ويغفر ما دون ذلك من يشاء. And Allah has explained this rule in other places of Quran that whoever has associated God, whoever has involved in himself in polytheism, Allah سبحانه وتعالى would never ever forgive them unless they ask for forgiveness, unless they repent before. They breath their lust. They have to seek forgiveness. They have to repent within their lifetime. Otherwise, there would be no repentance. There would be no forgiveness on the day of judgment. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala also says one more thing. A lot of things about Jesus alayhi salam and Mary alayhi musallatu was salam that they were. That that they are not gods, and there is only one God that is Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And Jesus Alayhi Salam and Mary were Allah's servant, who Allah created and sent upon uh, to the people. Allah says in chapter number chapter number eighteen of Quran that is. الحمد لله الذي أنزل على عبده الكتاب ولم يجعل له عوجا وينذر الذين قالوا اتخذ الله ولدا الله سبحانه وتعالى sent this revelation that is Quran there is no shortcoming there is no problem there is no crookedness in this Quran Allah has sent upon this Quran to give good tidings to give good news to the ones who believe in the oneness of Allah wa yunzir alladhina qalu ittakhadha Allahu walada and also this Quran gives warnings of Allah's torment Allah's punishment to the people qalu ittakhadha Allahu walada hu na'udhu billah thumma na'udhu billah we seek Allah's refuge from such a thing who Say that Allah has a son. This Quran warns the people who say that Allah has a son. Ma lahum bihi min ilmi wa la li abaihim. They have no knowledge of this thing. Neither did their their forefathers had any knowledge of this thing. This is a wrong narration. This is a wrong. Thing they have been following since their forefathers. Kaburat kalimatan takhrujo min afwahihim in yaquluna illa kaziba. It is something very, very, very huge. It is a huge lie that they have been telling since their forefathers. It is a slander on Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. It is a lie being associated with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. It is a huge thing that they say, and Allah says, "In yaquluna illa kaziba." All they say is lies. All they say is lies. All they say is lies. There is no god but Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah says. In the third last chapter of Quran, that is, "Qul huwa Allahu ahad." O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, tell them that Allah is only one. "Qul huwa Allahu ahad." The Lord is only one. "Qul huwa Allahu ahad." The God is only one. "Qul huwa Allahu ahad." The Provider is only one. "Qul huwa Allahu ahad." The Worthy of Worship is only one. "Allahu samad." Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Allah is Allah is pure, and Allah doesn't need to care for the people who associate with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and Allah does not depend on anyone, and everyone depends on Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He has no son or daughter. 
nor he had any wife, nor he is the son of anyone, nor he had any father or mother. Lam yalid wa lam yunad. He is alone. He doesn't need any family, nor did he ever had any family, nor Jesus was his son, nor Mary had any such nauzubillah, the slander that they associate on Mary alayhi salam on or on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nauzubillah, nauzubillah it's a huge slander walam yakullahu kufuwan ahad Allah is the one who was since forever who would be forever he is the creator of everything nothing or nobody can ever be equal or close to equal of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also made it clear that uh, that Allah's chosen generation after Bani Israel and after um, after the Christians, after the Jews and the Christians and everyone else around the globe is the ones who would follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I'm not saying they are the Muslims. Anyone can be a Muslim either. They are Jews, Christians, Hindus, atheists or followers of any other religion around the world. Whoever would follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and accept his, him as the final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Kuntum khaira ummatin ukhrijat linnas He would become the best of the best because the previous one, ones have been demoted because of their, their polytheism because of their activities of associating associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala associating partners with the real God that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so whoever would accept the final messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam whoever would accept Quran as the final revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would become Allah's chosen one and upon and among all of the creatures, all of the mankind, all of the material things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created and non-material things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created like angels and others, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam above all of them, among the creatures, the best one and the selected one and the highest ranked one is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah's mercy and peace and blessings be upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his family and his companion and his children and upon all of the followers, true followers that he had with him during his time and the followers, the true followers, the pure followers afterwards till today and after today until the day of judgment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among the true companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide all of the Christians to come out of darkness of Trinity and accept the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all other people around the world come towards the light comes towards hidayah, come towards the truth that is the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahabihi wa ahli baytihi ajma'in.